Father, good morning and well. How's everybody doing this morning? I was glad when they said unto me, let us go on into the house of the Lord. So we'd like to first welcome everybody that is, that is in the sanctuary as well as online to Aimwell Missionary Baptist Church, a.k.a. The Well, where Pastor Trey Wolford is our pastor. And again, I say, we think that Aimwell is the best church that you could be worshiping with. Am I right about it, family? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as usual, we're going to start our praise and worship with the scripture. And I will be reading Psalms 100, and it reads, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endured to all generations. How many of you really believe the word this morning? How many of you are going to stand on the word this morning? All right, amen. Well, so we, we know that you know how to praise God. And if you're able, we ask that you stand with us. Praise with us because we're going to enter into praise this morning. All right, family? Come on, put your hands on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want y'all to help us make the devil real mad this morning, ain't well? Let's have a praise party here this morning. Come on. I was down to my last dime, but Jesus stepped in right on. I sure been sick, and I couldn't get well, but he healed my body, and I can tell it's going to be all right now. Think I'll make it, think I'll make it, anyhow, anyhow, it's going to be all right now. But I know I'll make it, think I'll make it, anyhow, anyhow, listen to this. And he took me in, in spite of your temptation, just keep your faith, he's already planned a way for you to escape. All right now, think I'll make it, think I'll make it, anyhow, anyhow, come on church, all right now, all right, think I'll make it, anyhow, anyhow, listen to this, say through your troubles, and through your pain, you better believe. You can believe that it's all right. Woo! Don't you stop shouting. Don't you stop praying. You, you can believe. believe that it's all right. It ain't gonna be all right now. All right. Think I'll make it. Anyhow. Anyhow. Come on, y'all. All right now. So I know I'll make it. Think I'll make it. Anyhow. <laughs> Come on, and we'll. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all hear me say, I'm gonna make it. I'll make it. Yes, I will. I'll make it. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I'll make it. I'm gonna make it. I'll make it. Ain't no trial. I'll make it. Don't hold me down. I'll make it. True victory. I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll make it. Put your hands on it. 
I've been too good to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. hear me saying, come on, y'all. I'm going to make it. I'll make it. Yes, I will. I'll make it. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll make it. Oh, no, try. I'll oh. make it. Hold me down. I'll make it. True victory. I'll make it. I found. I'll make it. Said I'm going to make it. Said I'm going to make it. I'll make it. I'll make it. Said I will. will. Said I will. will. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. See, I'm on purpose. I'm on purpose. With my vision. With my vision. Them haters can't stand haters it. haters can't stand it. They have it when you fall. They pray you fall. But they don't know. If he's good, if he's good, everybody, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Y'all sound real good. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Yeah.
and be pleasing unto the Lord. Lord. You are good and your oh, mercy is forever. forever. Lord, you are Lord, good. You are
ministry. God bless the, the whole total congregation. Father, for you know us one by one and name by name. And you know what we stand in need of. Ha. Glory. Hey, shot. Glory, 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 glory. Hey, God. Hey. God, you know what we stand. God, God, God. You know. Hey, God. You know, you know what we stand in need of. And Lord, we thank you. We hey. We thank you for doing it. In the name. Hey. In the name of Jesus, and we give you praise even now, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, come on, let's put those hands together if you love the Lord this morning. I said put those hands together if you love the Lord this morning. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in you. How many are glad to be in the house of the Lord again? I'm going to try it one more time. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Is there anybody here that's got breath in your body and you can testify, I got a reason to give God praise? Well, if that's your testimony, why are you so quiet this morning? But is there anybody here that say, I got too much to thank my God for? Hallelujah. Won't you show your neighbor how good he's been? I said, show your neighbor how good he's been. Show him how he brought you out of no way. Yeah. I said, made a way out of no way. Huh. Some of y'all should have been dead by now. Huh. But look at somebody and say, I'm still. Said, I'm still here. Huh. Now show your neighbor what your still here shout looks like. Said, I'm still. I said, I'm still, I feel good today. I said, I'm still here. Should have been dead. I said, I should have been dead. I should have been crazy. But I'm still. You go ahead and finish the rest. I said, I'm still. I'm still. I said, I'm still. I'm still. I said, I'm still here. Let me hear your still here praise. Let me hear you. I'm still got my right mind praise. Let me hear you. I still got my peace praise. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, what does your soul do, Amwell? I said, my soul, your soul cries out hallelujah if that's your testimony one last time give God praise in the building today hallelujah as you take your seats look at somebody and say he been just that good 
Yeah, that was the wrong day, but they didn't come to have no church today on the fourth Sunday. Look at somebody and say, he been just that good. Yeah, he been good. I said, just that good. Yeah. Yeah. I said, he been just that good. Yeah. He been good. <laughs> I said, he been good. See, 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 some of y'all, y'all can't get with me right there. I'm talking about when you've gone through some stuff that you couldn't tell nobody else about. But one thing you can testify, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Has anybody ever tried him? Look at somebody and say, I tried him for myself. And I know that he's been good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, he's been good. Said thank you, you Lord. I'm sorry. Said thank you, you Lord. I wish I had somebody here that can say thank. Thank you, Lord. 
And I just want to thank you, Lord. Would you help me sing this? Come on, help me today. Say thank Let me hear you ain't well. You, Lord. When I look back over my life, say thank you. You, Lord. When I look back over the last three months, say thank Say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Said I, I just want to thank Come on. You, Lord. And this is the reason why I'm so happy this morning. You made a, a way. The doctors are, don't even can't even explain the recovery. You made. Let's go. Come on. Come on, all the way. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Said I. Said I just. I just want to. I got to say that one more time. Come on. I said he made a way. I said he made a way. Everybody. Come on. I, I just want look at somebody and say, I can't thank them for you, but I can thank them for me. I just want to Said, I just want to thank you. I just want to. Said, I just want to thank you. I just want to, want to thank, thank you, Lord. All the great people put those hands together this morning. You brought me out. to say
Come on, let's put those hands together this morning. Uh, Um, good morning, Aimwell. Um, let me, um, let me, um, let me dismiss Children's Church, uh, all of our children. Uh, would you go back to Minister Lisa Rogers, all of our children that's in the sanctuary today? Um, amen. Yeah. Yeah, she's in the back. Yeah. Wait, yeah, she's waving her hand now, so you can just send all of your children uh, to her. Amen. Church say amen. 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 All right. Whew. Okay. All right, let's try to get this together. <laughs> let's try. Let me try to get this together. So, um, we having a guest today. Y'all know I ain't did this in a while. We have, if you have any guests that may be visiting with us today, wave, wave at us. Wave at us. Wave at us. Good, 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 good. All right. That means we all family. Amen. One in the back, well. Raise your hand high. Well. Oh, there you go. You over there being cute. I ain't. You. <laughs> well, welcome to Aimwell. Aimwell, let's thank God for our guest today. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I uh, want you to know that you, we know you could have worshiped anywhere uh, in the city, uh, but you chose to worship with us today. And so thank you so much uh, for being with us today. Aimwell, let's show some love to our guest today. And uh, at the end of service, we're going to take you back and give you a more personal greeting. But in the meantime, we just want to thank you so much for being here with us today. Amen. All right, listen, we got a few things I need to talk about this morning before our preacher comes. Uh, let me just say, it is good to see y'all. Uh, it is good to see y'all. It is good. It is good to be back in worship today. And, uh, of course, next Sunday we have our back-to-school rally. Uh, let me just take a moment and brag on you all. Uh, you all have literally given so much, um, and you still have time to give more, um, that we're going to be able to make some book bag donations to a few different schools that are close to our church. Give yourselves a hand for that. Um, so even though we're giving away 100 book bags, next Sunday uh, we're going to give even more out in the community because not only should we have worship in here, but we should reach out there. Amen. And so if you still want to give to us that today, you can still give today. See Brother Mixon, of course, and uh, we'll make sure uh, that the funds get to the proper place. Um, but again, we've already ordered the 100 book bags, and most they're here already. And so we already have those book bags here, and then we're going to, with, with whatever you all give today, uh, we're going to make some significant book bag donations to these schools because a lot of families just don't have it. Uh, and I believe the church should be the hub where people can find what they need. Amen. And so... And so we, we'll, we want you to do that. Now, let me just give y'all, because uh, uh, I know I pastor black folk. All right? 
So can I help us today? Now, the way this is going to work next Sunday, your child must be present to get a book bag. <clears throat> Say it one more again. Your child must be present, which means don't come saying, I need to get five book bags for my cousin Keisha. And just in case there's a Keisha in the room, I ain't talking about you, but I'm just saying, y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying this now because I want none of y'all going out there, none of your friends in them uh, acting up next week. And they got to get escorted out of here uh, <laughs> because, you know what I'm saying? So we, the, the whole point of this is not just to, be, to give a handout, but we're trying to jumpstart our children's year. With all of these school shootings, with all of the things that are going on in our school system, period, uh, our children need prayer. Amen? Amen. Our, 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 the faculty, the staff needs prayer. Amen? Because some of you know your kids is a handful, so imagine what they got to deal with and they can't touch them. Amen. Amen. So listen, so we, we want to be praying for them. So it's, it's a big day. Of course, you know our special guest will be uh, the superintendent of public schools, and we're excited about having him, and uh, we're excited about that as well. And so again, please, please, ma'am and sir, please make sure uh, that if they want or need a book bag, Make sure they are present and accounted for. Amen, somebody. Amen. All right. Now, our youth is going to be leading us uh, in worship next Sunday, and we're excited about that. They're going to be doing everything, Amen. prayer, scripture, everything. And uh, it is their Sunday. It is their Sunday. And so we're excited uh, to hear and see how God is going to use them. And so they're having youth choir rehearsal on Wednesday, July the 27th at 5.30 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, July the 27th at 5.30 p.m. Uh, bring all of your children and youth uh, so they can be a part of this particular day. Um, also, 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 uh, I am grateful to announce that Joshua Graham um, finished first in the triple jump. And third in the long jump. Come on, Josh Stan, man. Come on, let's thank God for Joshua. Come on, let's give God praise for him. Amen. 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 <laughs> I know what that's about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, um, next Sunday, we will be hearing from uh, one of our ministers, uh, Minister Lisa Rogers. Uh, she's going to be bringing a message next week for our kids. Amen. So we're excited for her. And it's God. And of course, our youth ministry is doing some amazing work. Uh, uh, Tasha and uh, Tracy Payne, as well as Lisa Carson. Uh, who are helping uh, our children and youth churches. Numbers are growing every single time they meet. And so let's thank God for them. They're doing a great job. <clears throat> All right. Um, and also, let me, let me also say this. Of course, these COVID numbers are high. Uh, let me be the first to tell you, COVID ain't nothing to play with. Are y'all with me? Listen, it ain't nothing to play with. So listen, we want to keep our mask on. Uh, as these numbers are up, uh, these numbers are so high. Uh, we had, probably I think I heard we had 19,000 or something like that, uh, infected people in, in, in Mobile County. Uh, so these numbers are still up. We were still in a pandemic. So please, uh, I know in church you all, maintain it but when you're going out please please I, I listen we I need y'all to stay safe are y'all with me so stay safe stay safe make sure you do that as well now this morning we're going to be hearing from uh, Reverend Brian Faust amen um, 
He has been a blessing to our church. Amen. And so I, um, I, I asked him as I'm still resting, but I'm, I'm getting better. Uh, I'm getting better. Yeah, I'm getting better. So um, I'm getting better. And so I asked him to just give me another, another week off or so. Uh, amen. And thank y'all for being so patient and, and praying for me. And uh, uh, thank y'all for doing all of that. Amen. Amen. Our praise team is coming uh, to, to prepare our hearts for the word of God. And then uh, the next speaking voice you're going to hear is that of Reverend Brian Faust. Come on, let's give God praise for him.
Say, let the church say amen. amen. Good to be back in Angwell. Glad to see our pastor. Amen. amen. God is a good God. Any good? Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. Cause y'all acting late. I know the pastor back now. Okay. I, 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 I understand he back. But we're going to have some church. I'm, I'm, I'm going to church with you about 18 minutes. And, uh, and I'm going to go to the house on you. But uh, I've never been more happier. I've been praying. And I had to make some adjustments on my message because um, I knew he was going to be here. Me, me and him talked. So I knew he was going to be here. I had a different sermon for y'all. But... Uh, because he is here. Amen. No, no, I'm not going to preach to him. I'm going to preach to us. Amen. No him. Ain't no him in this. Huh? Uh, us in this sermon. <laughs> my, 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 my. God is so good, y'all. Amen. Y'all, y'all keep my family in prayer. Just ask that you do that. God has been... Still blessing my family to our choir, to amen, to our security team. There is a message from the Lord in found in First John chapter 3. First John chapter 3, starting at verse 1. For those who can stand, will you please stand for the reading of the word? We're going to read verses 1 and 2. Beloved, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Verse 2 said, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when it shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. You may be seated. Very, very quickly, if you just got to have a subject, if you just need one, uh, we'll talk about Christian unity. Christian unity. God has done so many things for us. And I think the most important thing of all is if you get nothing else out of this sermon, you need to know that God loves you. No, no, that ain't going to work. Let's, let's do this again. I'm going to say it one more time. You, you need to know that God loves you. I'm, I'm going to say it one more time. Because this is really important because some people miss the boat. God loves you. And the reason why you really don't get it, you need to say it to yourself. Because you need to know that you are a wretch. Unknown. I, I, I need to start right there. God, God come got you when nobody else wanted Okay, okay, that's, that's going to go over some of this. That's deep, Reverend. That's some deep stuff. Prove it. Prove it, Reverend Fowles. God loved you before you were even conceived. Can I, can I stay there? Before mom and daddy thought about. Talk back to me if you can. God loved you right where you are. 
think that messes up a lot of folks because we want God to love who we love and hate who we hate. And some of us even pray stupid prayers that God would make take vengeance on our enemy. But you need to know that God even loves your enemy. Oh God, I need to stay there. God, God loves Donald Trump. I know that just don't, don't get upset. God, God loved the folk that are shooting and killing our children. God, God loves us just the way we are. That, that's saying something well. Because while you were yet in sin, God, 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 y'all, died. He died that you may have a right. Now, 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 don't take that, don't take that lightly. You know, a mother, a mother, a mother will have a bunch of children, and whether it be one, two, three, four, some of them ten, but, but they know their children. You, you can fool a daddy. You can fool a daddy. You can have him thinking that's his baby and it ain't none of him. You, you can trick him. Talk back to me if you can now. Don't, 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 don't get offended. I'm, don't get offended. Don't get, get your feathers ruffled. This, this ain't Jerry Springer nor Murray Povich. But, but God know you. He, he know what you did and he knew how you done it. Uh, you, you thought didn't nobody see you. But God knows. That, that's what I like about God. He, he accepts Reverend Faust just the way I am. Oh, I'm going to preach up in here this morning. Because the reason why we don't reach folk is because we put our Sunday to meeting stuff on. And we try to impersonate a lifestyle of love. But when we leave here, we change. As a matter of fact, sometimes we sit by folk and won't even speak to them. Oh, I wish I had some help up in here. But that's not Christian unity. That's not showing the love of God. You got to love folk just the way they are. You, you, you remember what the old folks said? You, you remember they, they used to say it, I came, I wish I had a church this morning. I, I came to Jesus, help me somebody. I, I came, I came, I, I came just as I. Oh, I was drunk. I was drunk when I showed up Sunday. Oh, yes, I was. You could smell me from all the way in the back of the church. But I'm glad I didn't let none of y'all stop me from God. God wants you to come just as you are. You, you, don't, have the, you don't have the durability nor the capacity to clean your own self up. God smell you when nobody else smell you. I wish I had time to work on this message. He, he come got you when did nobody else want you. When, when the fraternity turned you away. When, when your friend didn't want to be around you. God still accepted you. Let, let's see. Let's see what the text says. The text says... Uh, uh, he, he, he loved you just the way you are. But, but then he says, he said, what man? Look, look, let me, let me read this again because I, I need to work on this. I need to work on, this is what he says. What man of love the Father has bestowed upon you uh, that he should call you the sons of God. And then he goes on down, he said, but, but, but then he, he bestows upon you love that you cannot get anywhere else. I need to stay with that word love. 
Because we use that word likely. The, the only time we want to love God is when things going good. You know, got a new house. Oh, thank, thank. And we, and we cute with it. We, you know, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But the minute the bottom falls out, talk back to me if you can. You got to love God in tough times. The writer said, count it all as joy. Y'all going to help me preach this sermon? But when you have trials and tribulation, that, that means you're going to have some good days. Come on, talk back to me if you can. And you're going to have some rough days. Some, some days you're going to be up. And some days... Point, point of origin. Point of, point of origin. God loves us because we are saints of God. I know what your wicked self. I, I know. I know you. I know uh, us wicked. Us wicked, y'all. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm wicked. I'm wicked. It, it's all right. You need to say it. You don't, you don't care. Listen, I don't care about you getting mad with me. I'm not the pastor. I, I, if I don't know nothing else, I know us. Can, can I get a witness? God, God love you at the casino. Come on, talk back to me. Talk back. Don't, don't be looking. Don't be looking around. Don't look at nobody. I'm, I'm talking directly to you. God love you when you were slipping and sliding and peeping and hiding. God, God love you. Talk, talk back to me if you can. God loves. No, no wonder the writer said, you remember my other message? No, no wonder the writer said, oh, wretched man. Oh, I believe I preached this thing. Oh, wretched man that I am. When I desire to do good. Can, can I share a secret with you? You ain't going to tell nobody. Uh, I'm going to share a secret with you. This flesh. This flesh is a mess. Can, can, can I stay right there a moment? This flesh is, is a mess. And, and the only reason it is getting better now is because us done got older. I just went over somebody's head then. The, the, the only reason, the only reason you, 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 you hallelujah and, and doing what you're doing now because you can't do. You, you know, for, you know, you know. I, I, think, I think when the real gospel is preached, it, it scares some of us. I, I'll never forget I was passing. I'm going to tell you this way you can laugh. It was funny to me, I had to, I had to ask some women to move. I was pastoring, uh, I ain't going to tell you who I was. And it was about six of them, they came and they sit right up front here. And uh, they was good looking. Whew. Let me shock you. And, and I couldn't preach, I couldn't get it together. Pastor, I, 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 I was trying my best to get it together. <laughs> them things were looking good sitting up in there. And I was trying to preach, but I was. Huh? And so, and so, so what I did was, I, 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 I didn't want to embarrass them. I said, baby, I said, I wish y'all come in. I wish I said, y'all sit them around behind the pew. Talk, talk back to them if you can. See, see, what I'm trying to tell you, God love you. Right where you are. And you ought to be glad of that. Look at your neighbor and say, you ought to be glad of that. You, you ought to be glad of that. Because, because if God did not love you right where you are, you would have been dead long time ago. I got to get out of here. I got to be using up my time now. L listen. Listen, I'm going to leave you, but it's, it's a point I, I need to make. 
on my way to the house. And not only does God love us in Christian unity and want us to be together, but you got to learn how to get along with folk. Everybody is not going to like you. So you might as well to stop trying to please everybody. It, it, ain't, it just ain't going to work. I don't care what you give them. I don't care what you do for them. It's some folk that just not going to like you. They don't know your name. They don't know nothing about you. But you just don't look right. Talk back to them if you can. You, you, you ever been around a bunch of folk and they see a, a man or woman coming up and they'll say, oh, I just don't like him. You say, who? I say, baby, who he is? I don't know. I, I just don't like the way he look. Can I get a witness here? But, but you ought to be glad this morning that the text says that you are not only a saint, but you are a son of God. That meant God chose you. And you did not choose God. Can I get a witness here? I got to get out of here because our pastor is here today. Uh, but before I go, I need to say that God will take care of you. Can I get a witness here? That there's a whole lot in this sermon. Uh, but I'm not going to preach it all. But I got to save some because... I've got a revival to do next week, but God wants you to start loving folk. Can I get a witness here? And I found out that when you give love, I wish I had a witness here. It'll bring love to you. Y'all ain't praying with me. If you pray for them that despitefully misuse you. I wish I had a witness here. You, you know the Bible said that God will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. And I don't know about you this morning, but I'm glad that God loved me enough to give me strength where I'm weak. Is there anybody here this morning? You need God to pick you up when you've fallen down. Can I get a witness here? Is there anybody here this morning know that God will stand by you when mama is gone? Is there anybody here this morning know that God will be a father to the fatherless when friends forsake you? God will be right there. Is there anybody here this morning know God is able this morning? I need some folk on this side that God's been a mother to you in the time of a motherless world. I need somebody in this hour that God will be a doctor for you in a sick room this morning. Is there anybody here this morning? No, God is able this morning. If you know he's able, you ought to stand on your feet. You ought to say, Lord, I love you this morning. God will stand by you this morning. I got to go home, ain't well. But I'm going to tell you a little story that me and Reverend Jackson used to tell. There was a man that was sitting in a red big church and the rushes were walking around and every now and then the man would scrack a lighter and the rushes would look up and they see fire in the top of the church. And the usher got upset. And she marched up there. She got to the man. Told the man, mister, you can't strike that lighter no more. The usher went back downstairs. Before the usher could get back down, the old man was scracking lighter again. And I get her in his hair. The usher went back up got almost to the man and his daughter stood up and said ma'am you don't understand my daddy is blind 
act deaf in one ear. But something, something, and something got a hold of him. And he can't talk. All he can do is strike a lighter. All I'm saying, if I couldn't say a word, if I, if I, uh, if I couldn't say a word, come on, help me somebody. God love you. God love you. Yeah. God love you just the way you are, ain't well. Listen, stop trying to fool God. God know you. He know all of our sin. Well, why do you think he is God? That's why he is God. God's purpose was to bring us safely home. That's what God, he wants to save us. And he realized that we are not going to be perfect. God know that if that was the case, there would be no need for church. God know you're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to lie. You're going to mess up. God know you ain't going to stop drinking. God know you better than you know yourself. But that's why he's God. Because God died for the world. The text says they stretched him wide. They hung him high. He dropped his head in the lock of his shoulders. And the text says he died. And the reason why he done that is because he loves you. You really need to think about that. He loved you that much till he went to Calvary for you and I. That means that we have a right to eternal life. So what I'm saying this morning, if you're in the building, don't let nobody talk you out of coming to God. Don't let nobody change your mind. You got to make up your own mind. But you need to come to God just as you are. The doors of the church is open. God wants you just the way you are. He can fix you. He can do what no other power can do. Will you come? There's nothing better. The well is a mighty good place to come. We have a good church. We have a good pastor. Uh, we will welcome you with open arms. Because we want you to come. We want you to be a part of our family. But if you don't want to join, we got a pastor that will send you where you want to go. But you need to come. God loves you. He loves you just the way you are. With all my mistakes, with all my faults, he still accepts me. Pick you up and turn your life around. Oh, he'll turn your life around. You ought to know him. Oh, you ought to get to know him. Get to know him. Come on, let's put those hands together for Reverend Brian Faust. Were you blessed today? 
Amen. We're going to get ready to receive our video announcements. Amen. Isn't it good to know that he loves you anyway? Yeah. Hello, church family. I am here to give you another refresh project update. Today, I would like to show you the efforts completed in our storage areas and workspaces. Please look at these updates. All the clutter has been relocated for functionality or removed and or discarded. Both the workspaces and storage rooms have been freshly painted and new flooring installed to accommodate the needs of our Aimwell family. These continuous improvements are accomplished only through your generosity. None of this would be possible without you. As always, thank you and have a wonderful day. Please join us every Wednesday at 12 p.m. for Noonday Prayer. Please dial 605-472-5738 using access code 560-369. Join the Well Family text group at text Well Family to 554 Six nine. Again, text Well Family to five five four six nine. Here at the Well, we have five unique ways that you can give. You can give by envelope, by mailing your gifts to Post Office Box four zero three three seven, Mobile, Alabama three six six four zero. You can give by Giveify app, which is available on Apple Store as well as Google Play. You can also give by text to give by texting your desired amount to 251-220-6944. You can also give online at thewellmobile.org and follow the prompts to securely give. You can now give using the giving kiosk located in the Grand Central area of the church. Our mission statement here at The Well is to change the world one soul at a time through our commitment to love well, live well, and lead well at The Well. All right, let's try it one more time. Are you ready to give? Okay. Gee. All right, lift those gifts up. Lift those gifts up. Amen. We're a little rusted. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. What am I supposed to do after this? I supposed to, oh, the, 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 the visitors, that's what. Yeah, I ain't done this in a minute. All right, y'all repeat after me. Say, Lord, thank you for another opportunity to give back to you a portion of what you've given to me. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, we're getting ready to go. We'll see you next Sunday uh, for our back to school rally. Amen. We're inviting all children and youth. Uh, if you have any neighbors, tell them to bring their child uh, to be a part of this. And also any teachers, faculty members, uh, whoever you are, we want to be praying for everybody. Because uh, how many know that our schools need prayer? Amen. <laughs> And so we're going to be doing that, and we're excited to see our youth on parade next Sunday. And so come on, we're going to pack this place out uh, and bring, bring a guest. Amen. Hey, to our guests, to our guests, to our guests in the back, would you, uh, Deborah, wave your hands. Would you walk towards Deborah? We're not going to ask you to say nothing, but you just, we're just going to take you in the back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. Come on, let's thank God for our guest today. Amen. All right. All right. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for just your word. Thank you for loving us in spite of ourselves. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs. God, we thank you that even now what you've been doing in this house, thank you for the souls that have been coming. Thank you for God, just all of the great things you're doing 
in the life of Aimwell Missionary Baptist Church. But God, we just got a sneaky suspicion that the best is still yet to come. And we're waiting to see what you're going to do. But God, we're not going to wait to praise you for it. But we're going to go ahead and thank you in advance. Praise you on credit because your credit is good with us. Because if you did it before, we trust that you can do it again <laughs> and again and again. And so we thank you even in advance for what you're going to do. God, we love and praise you and honor asking your son. Jesus' name we do pray. Everybody say amen. Amen. Good to see you, family. Good to see you all today. Section 5, would you stand? Section 5, Section 5. Section 5, Section 5, y'all stand. Amen. Come on, come on, go. Go and tell it. Tell somebody about Jesus. Go ahead, Terry. Come on. Go and tell it. Tell somebody about Jesus. Happy birthday, Miss Catherine Boykins. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Come on. Let's go. Go oh, and tell it. Yeah. Tell somebody about Jesus. Section three. Section three. Section three. Section two. Section one. Let's go. Tell somebody about Jesus. Oh. 